Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we have a new iOS update. Apple has just released iOS 14.4. After going through two beta stages and the RC version, we finally have iOS 14.4 released to the public. This update comes with a bunch of new features and of course a lot of bug fixes, improvements and all the usual stuff. So in this video, we're going to take a deep look into iOS 14.4 and see everything that is new with this software update. We're going to talk also about performance and battery life on iOS 14.4. Alright, kicking things off with the new features and one of them can be found right here under the Bluetooth settings. So when you go to your Bluetooth settings, you will see a list of your devices right here. Now on iOS 14.4, if you tap that little I button and go to the settings of that device, you will have here a new section called device type. When you go to device type, you can choose here what type of device that Bluetooth device is. Now specifying the type of the device can ensure that headphone audio level measurements will be more accurate. You will have different devices here to choose from, whether that Bluetooth device is car stereo, a headphone, a hearing aid, or a speaker, or other if it is another device. That of course, again, will ensure that the headphone audio levels measurements will be way more accurate. Another new feature on iOS 14.4 is the ability to now scan much smaller QR codes. Whether you use the QR code scanner from the default camera app or the one that you get on the control center, now you will be able to scan much smaller QR codes. So if you ever had that problem with scanning smaller QR codes, that should now be fixed with this new feature of iOS 14.4. A lot has been talked about the new iOS 14.4 privacy feature, the feature that forces apps to ask whether you want to be tracked or not by that app. And this is a great privacy feature that is coming to iOS 14.4. Now I had this pop up on two different apps and here I have those screenshots. Basically, this new feature will ask apps to first ask you whether you want to allow that app to track your activity across other companies, apps, or websites. And then you will get the option here to ask the app not to track you or allow tracking. This is a really great feature. I had like a ton of different reports from people seeing this pop up and most of them on Facebook actually. I've used Facebook on this device, I was 14.4, but I never got this pop up, but I got it on two other apps and I think is a great feature for the privacy of iPhone user. And it is great for Apple that is doing this, always focusing on your privacy. And now you can basically stop apps from tracking you across other companies, apps and websites. Now with iOS 14.3, we got a new feature on the shortcuts app that basically would allow us to set a wallpaper using a shortcut. And now with iOS 14.4, this gets even better. Now you will get the option here to tap on show more and enable or disable perspective zoom on those wallpapers that are set by this shortcut. So basically perspective zoom is that feature that allows the wallpaper to move in the background. You get that when you're setting a wallpaper either from your photo library or from the settings apps. And now you will get that feature also here on the shortcuts app when you're setting wallpapers using the wallpaper shortcut. And with iOS 14.4, of course, there's a new feature with the HomePod mini. It is a feature powered by the U1 chip. Basically, it is a new handoff experience for the HomePod mini. It is really great, but you will need to have both devices updated to iOS 14.4. So if you have a HomePod mini and you have a device, an iPhone on iOS 14.4, then you will be able to use this new feature, the new handoff experience powered by the U1 chip. Within iOS 14.4, there is code that basically shows a new feature. Basically, your device will inform you whether the parts, the camera parts, the replacement parts of your camera are genuine or not. So if you have any cameras, any parts of the camera replaced, your iPhone will show if those are not legit iOS 14.4 also brings a new feature for the AirPods Max. If you have AirPods Max, you will now be able to use Hey Siri with the AirPods Max. So if you use them and your iPhone, then this is a great feature. You will be able to say that word and pop up Siri on your device on the AirPods Max. 
Despite the new features and changes, iOS 14.4 also brings a lot of bugs and improvements. A couple of those could be found on the keyboard, so there was a bug where the keyboard typing would be delayed and word suggestion would not pop up at all. And there was another bug with the keyboard specific to the iMessage app, where basically the keyboard would not come up in the correct language. Those have been fixed with iOS 14.4. Other bugs have been fixed like a bug with HDR images taken with the iPhone 12 Pro where artifacts will basically show up on HDR photos. Another one was with the activity widget where the activity widget would not update to show the current data. Now let's move on to battery life and also performance. First of all, we're talking about battery life. Now coming from iOS 14.3 to iOS 14.4, you will see an improvement on battery life, even though it is not great. But on iOS 14.3, I had a really bad battery life on my iPhone 12 Pro Max here, as well as on my iPhone 11 Pro. Battery life on iOS 14.3 was really bad and it, it is not that good on iOS 14.4 as well, but it is better than iOS 14.3, even though I believe iOS 14.2 was way better than both of them. So if you're looking to get a better battery life, if you're on iOS 14.3, then I suggest you go ahead and move up to iOS 14.4. But if you're on iOS 14.2, you probably have better battery life than iOS 14.4, but of course you lack the new features and changes. It is not something like really, really bad, but it's not good as well. So I can say it's a mediocre battery life with iOS 14.4. I expect Apple to actually release a new update for iOS 14.4, probably 14.4.1, that should come out in a couple of weeks or so because battery life, it is not really, really good. Hopefully that new update should improve that. Now battery life is not really looking that good with iOS 14.4 and it looked even worse with iOS 14.3, but performance looks to be really good. So here I have Geekbench tests for iOS 14.3 and 14.4 as well. So if we go to the history right here, you can see we have here iOS 14.3. Now with iOS 14.3, we got the single core score at 1,597, as we got here the multi-core score at 3,556. If we go back and go to iOS 14.4, you can see a slight improvement here on the single core score, while we have a big improvement on the multi-core score. 4,125, that is like 500 points there or 600 points on the multi-core score and we have like five points here on the single core score but it looks to be really really great otherwise performance it is really good very smooth of course no glitches no hangs or stuff like that nothing major like you can notice when you're using your device on a daily basis very smooth as it should be as of course it is 14.4 and now we expect ios 14 to be polished and be really smooth and of course very very fast and have better battery life which is not that good at the moment but hopefully we'll get new updates really really soon and last but not least we're talking about whether you should update to ios 14.4 or not so i had this software update for a few weeks now on my device i've used it on two different devices and i can say it is a good update but not when you're looking at battery life and whether you should update or not if you're on ios 14.3 currently just go ahead and update to ios 14.4 it will just get better in my experience it won't get worse but if you're on the lower firmware like maybe ios 14.2.1 or even lower and you have decent battery life a good battery life on your device then i don't suggest you update either to ios 14.3 or ios 14.4 because battery life will be worse and you should update for you should wait basically for a new update from apple but if you're on ios 14.3 again make sure you go ahead and update right now to ios 14.4 so that's basically it for this video guys this is ios 14.4 and everything that is new with this update thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one